Wikipedia has a built-in search function, but in a lot of ways, Google's search function is better. Um, one thing that you can do with Google's search function is actually use it to search Wikipedia. You can restrict Google's results to just pages from Wikipedia. Um, so I'll show you how to do that right now. You go to Google and Advanced Search, and scroll down to search within a site or domain. Now you just type n.wikipedia.org. Um, and then you can find anything you want. Uh, and these results are just within Wikipedia. Search Wikipedia using the built-in dictionary uh, dictionary application on the Macintosh. Um, so you open up the dictionary, and uh, it gives you various reference volumes to search, basically. One of those is Wikipedia. Um, so you just browse over to that and type in what you're looking for. Um, it also displays this list uh, of articles that begin with what you typed. Um, and then you just double click on the one you're looking for. And there it is. Now Google Maps has this really cool feature uh, that will actually display Wikipedia articles uh, whose subjects are near any geographic location. So if you're looking at Detroit, you can see um, the Wikipedia article about the Renaissance Center, which is right there on the Detroit waterfront. Um, and uh, there will be the article will be positioned on the map where the Renaissance Center actually is in real life. Um, so this is really cool. Um, so the way you do it, and you can do this uh, from having searched for something and arrived at the location, or just having browsed over there through the map. Uh, you click on more, uh, actually just mouse over more, uh, and check the Wikipedia box. And uh, then you can see all these little W's on the map, and each of these W's represents a Wikipedia article. Um, and the size of the W generally indicates like the importance of the topic uh, that the article's about, or the geographic size of that topic, but it's not in entirely accurate. Uh, sometimes an important article will have a really little W. Um, but you just click on uh, the W, and up pops this uh, summary of the article. This is actually the first paragraph of the article, pulled from Wikipedia. Um, and if you want to close out of that, you can. Um, but uh, you can also go look at the full article on Wikipedia. Google Photo Search is pretty useful, but it can also bring up a lot of fluff um, that might not be that relevant. Um, and of course, Wikipedia has lots of pictures in its articles, but a lot of the uh, the pictures that are uploaded to Wikipedia and to similar projects are actually on a sister site called Wikimedia Commons. Um, so uh, you can search Commons directly, but there's also this cool little extension called Mayflower, um, and uh, this is the address up here at the top. Um, and this will just bring back uh, images and media related to any topic in Wikipedia. Really, any topic you can think of, even topics that are in uh, other projects. Um, so, yeah. And uh, you can sort by the ones that were uploaded most recently, or the ones that are most relevant. Um, And there's the image on Wikimedia Commons. If you're using Firefox, you can also set up an automatic search that will trigger every time you type a keyword into the address bar. This might sound complicated, but it's actually a really convenient way to search. Um, so the way to do it is, uh, and you can do this on any site, not just Wikipedia, um, go down to the search box and right click and select add a keyword for the search. This dialog box will come up, uh, and we can just type uh, yeah, search and a keyboard or a keyword wiki. So then you click add, and now if you go into the address bar and type wiki test, 
you're automatically taken to the Wikipedia page for tests. It did the Wikipedia search transparently right there in the address bar.